Dear Heavenly Father, on this beautiful day, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude and awe for the gift of life and the opportunity to worship you. As I embark upon this day, I humbly ask for your presence to be with me and for your blessings to overflow in every aspect of my life. Lord, I thank you for the breath in my lungs and the beating of my heart. I am grateful for the warmth of the sunlight that fills the world. Remind me of your boundless love and endless grace. I surrender my worries, fears, and burdens to you, knowing that you are my refuge and strength. As I enter into this new day, I pray for wisdom and discernment to make righteous choices and decisions. Grant me the courage to embrace the challenges that lie ahead and the strength to overcome any obstacles that may come my way. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may radiate your love and compassion to everyone I encounter. Father, I ask that you open my eyes to see the beauty in the world around me, to appreciate the blessings I often take for granted. Help me to be mindful of the needs of others and grant me the opportunity to be a vassal of your love and mercy. Guide me words and actions so that they may inspire and uplift those who cross my path. On this day, I seek your peace that surpasses all understanding. Quiet the storms within my mind and heart, replacing anxiety with trust and filling me with your perfect peace. Help me to find comfort in your presence and to draw strength from your word. Lord, I also lift up those who are struggling and in need, may your healing touch be upon the sick and the hurting, bringing them comfort and relief. Provide strength to the weary and hope to the discouraged. Bless those who are lonely or grieving, surrounding them with your love and reminding them of your unfailing presence. As I gather with fellow believers to worship you today, I pray for unity and harmony within the body of Christ. May our worship be a sweet fragrance to you, and may our hearts be open to receive your truth. Let our time together be filled with joy, encouragement, and a deepening of our relationship with you. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this new day and the privilege to approach your throne of grace. I commit this day and my life into your hands, knowing that you are faithful and that your plans for me are good. May your name be glorified in all that I do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today let's reflect upon the gospel according to John chapter 14 verses from 15 to 21. In this passage Jesus is speaking to his disciples during the Last Supper, shortly before his crucifixion. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Jesus starts by emphasizing the connection between love for him and obedience to his commandments. He highlights that true love for him is demonstrated through obedience. Jesus had previously given his disciples various commandments, including loving one another, serving others, and following his teachings. He reminds them that obedience is an essential expression of their love for him. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Jesus promises to ask the Father to send another helper, referring to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is described as the Spirit of Truth, who will dwell with and be in the disciples. The promise of the Holy Spirit's dwelling is significant because it signifies the ongoing presence of God with the believers after Jesus' physical departure. The Holy Spirit would guide, empower, and teach the disciples, enabling them to continue Jesus' work in the world. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world will see me no more, but you will see me, because I live you also will live. In that day you will know that I am the Father, and you in me, and I in you. Jesus reassures his disciples that although he will physically leave them, they will not be left alone or abandoned. He promises to come to them through 
the Holy Spirit's presence. Jesus alludes to his resurrection, proclaiming that because he lives, they too will live. This statement signifies the eternal life and spiritual connection believers have with Jesus through faith. The disciples would come to understand this more fully after the resurrection of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Whoever has my commands and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Jesus reiterates the importance of obedience as a demonstration of love for him. He states that those who love him and keep his commandments will be loved by the Father, and Jesus himself will manifest himself to them. This manifestation refers to a personal and intimate revelation of Jesus to those who love and obey him. It implies a deepening relationship and a special level of fellowship with Jesus and the Father. Overall, this passage emphasizes the interconnectedness of love, obedience, and the presence of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers. It highlights the assurance that despite Jesus' physical absence, the disciples, and by extension all believers, would not be left alone but would receive the Holy Spirit as their helper, enabling them to live in a loving relationship with Jesus and the Father. Amen? I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is the message for today. Remember that all things are possible with God. May God bless you all.